Hi, welcome back to Team One Sheep Reviews. Now, some of you will recognise this. This is my beloved Tyrannis. But then, what about this? Oh, oh. Oddly enough, when I had this uh, delivered to work, uh, the girl on reception uh, was sat there and as I opened it up and pulled it out of the box and went, Oh, do you like this? She said, Oh, are you building a, a robot's head? <laughs> I can see the uh, the resemblance. But, uh, <laughs> yeah, I suppose because she didn't know, it does look a little bit like a robot's head. But, um, yeah, so I am going to decant this into this now I got this from T9 Sport some of you might uh, might know them they are one of the main importers for Tyrannis so uh, I saw it impulse buy had to have it you know those feelings so yeah the video coming up is the process of transferring all the gubbins from there into I hope you enjoy. I don't know whether you've uh, seen inside the Tyrannis. If not, this is what you've got. Now, as you can see the switches, there's the antenna mod. This is my old one. This is just hot glued in there. So I'm gonna do something different with this one because it's actually bolted in. Uh, as you can see, there's um, it's clipped on there. I have got some glue just under there, which I need to, to release. Um, now what I need, go what I'm going to do I'm going to take the switches out, but I'm going to mark all the top edges of the switches and put them into the box and plug them from the boards and, plug, and put them in so that the switches are in the right orientation and they exactly are. So I'm going to take it easy, do them a bit at a time, and it should be quite straightforward. Now, to release these these leads, there's the little retainers. I don't know if you can see them. I'm releasing them. So once you pull these little brown tabs out, the ribbon comes out quite easily so there's no yanking or pulling it's not difficult and that se separates the two halves so I, I can now do a half at a time so I'm, I'm going to remove all this there and put it into the new uh, rear end okay and then it's going to to that now what I must say is uh, I'm not going to rush it. I'm going to take it easy. It looks complicated, but it's not that complicated. Everything is fixed down. The boards screw down, so there's nothing, nothing tricky. The gimbals are released from the front. There's a set of screws on the front. If you turn the radio over, you will see these, these uh, fixing points. So I, I can slacken them off and take the gimbal out, no problem at all. But what I'm going to do, and this is a, a tip, is mark the top edge of the switches with a bit of uh, pen so you know which way the switches are and then you won't have any problems then because if it drops on the floor and you put it in upside down and you're wrestling with it, that's when mistakes happen. So it's not difficult. Like I said, there's, there's a pair of switches to either side. Same on the front. Front is probably more critical because you won't know which switch is which. These are already come loose. So that's the only thing to be concerned about. Make sure you get the switches in the right places.
don't yank the LED out. If you notice, I use something to push the LED out. If you yank it, you snap the wires and damage the LED. So that's a little tip I just spotted. So, so far, so good. Right, time to hot glue the antenna wire, not over the, the connection, but just to the side of the connection to stop the it ever unplug in. And for good measure, for good measure, I shall hot glue it in that position there onto the pillar so that there's no way vibrations or anything will unplug that. If that unplugs, you're in trouble. So hot glue gun, LED and the antenna. Just to show you what the uh, speaker mod is, it's it's an 8 ohm 2 watt speaker, so it's slightly bigger, and this 3D printed cone. The cone is is made to fit the the size of the speaker, and as you can see, it's been hot glued into place, so it's not coming off anytime soon. Carefully not to get it on the speaker cones, obviously, because that will uh, that will affect the the volume. The plug and lead has been desoldered off the old uh, speaker and soldered directly onto this speaker, uh, making note of the positive and negative connections. And then this is attached over the cone there. As you can see, it's a, quite a snug fit. And in this instance, I'm going to glue that in place before I start assembling the rest of it. So the speaker's in, in situ before I put the circuit boards in. Should make life a lot easier than trying to do it after, because I can got room to maneuver and get the gun in the side. So, but obviously you don't want this to detach, you want a nice, nice bond, um, so don't rush it. Right, so there's one gimbal in. What you notice, I stripped it all down, took took all the screws out the front, the back, and when I took them out, obviously that's a short lead, that's the thing, made a note of which one's which way the writing is, so which is top, because you don't want them flipped 180 degrees, that can be confusing when you're trimming. And when you screw them back together and you put the, the units in, just test, make sure that they are clicking and that they're working.
Right, so I got the glass quite rigid and obviously self adhesive. I haven't stuck it on yet because what I'm going to do is make sure when I take the display off there's no dust or fluff or anything in there. It's easier to clean it before I stick it on. Once it's all done, on goes the, the glass and clean. I'll make sure it's free from dust, etc. Alright, I ordered a set of buttons two sets of buttons because I wasn't sure how they were attached whether they'd be melted on or so I thought I'd order a set it wouldn't hurt to have a new set of buttons on so I can see that they just drop in and hook on but I don't know whether those little tabs are going to be melted and to, I assume they just sat there they just sat in in position so until I take oop, until I take the display off but I, I you may not need them the, but they're only pence but it's nice to have a new set of buttons i suppose um so i'm going to strip that off now and see what i'm facing right as suspected the buttons are, are, are fixed on they look like they um, they got a bit of glue on there so this button ah right so this button is slightly detached i'm not going to rip them off what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a new set in and I'm going to set them on a little bit of, I've got a contact adhesive and the reason I'm using this is because it's really sticky, a bit messy so I'm going to have to be careful but it's really sticky and it should hold them perfectly in place. And that is how you rehouse a Tyrannis. Uh, that looks absolutely superb. One thing I must say, if you're going to test it, make sure the aerial's plugged in. Because otherwise you could cause damage. Welcome to Open TX. Driving mode, engines disarmed. It looks the best. <laughs> I much prefer it to uh, to the old one. I mean, it's okay but that is gorgeous so highly recommended from t9 sport um go get yourself one absolutely just a quick point to mention a bit of foam rubber to make the battery uh, a nice snug fit ah yes really pleased with that really pleased so can't say enough about that now, what's coming up next? Now these are OSD modules that also takes in a GPS signal. Now, what I've been asked to do is to try them out and do a report on my findings they're new like i said they're only uh, only now being developed now it's not a micro mini but as you can see there's lots and lots of pins so there's lots and lots of potential so there's two there's one i'm going to try with the nasa and there's one i'm going to try with the nays there is a, uh, a way of configuring them as well there's a, a a neat little app which i've been introduced to so these are from shikra now Shikra, like I said, developed the the Minim OSD uh, boards that we're uh, we're all used to using, and this is the new. All right, it's not micro, 
but it's quite small so this will fit in your quad no problem at all okay hope you enjoyed that thanks for everything i suggest mm, go buy one rip it apart not a problem follow the, the the guidance i give you on there you won't have any issues of changing them you don't need any specific skills there's no soldering it's just uh, being careful and being methodical and putting everything back in order without being ham-fisted so yeah hope that was a help for you goodbye